Dr. Katie Van Valen, and on this week's episode of Beef Minutes, we're going to talk about some different types of tall fescue and some of the research that we can do here at the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center. So tall fescue is a grass that's grown widely across the bluegrass state uh, and throughout the southeastern United States, uh, and it's most commonly known in the cattle industry for its ability to cause fescue toxicosis, which is a collective uh, of symptoms that result in poor growth, uh, retained winter hair coats, also some reproductive impacts. And so um, it's kind of got this negative association with fescue toxicosis. And the reason that that plant can cause fescue toxicosis is because the, the fescue uh, contains an endophyte, which is a fungus that grows inside the plant that produces ergoalkaloids. And those ergoalkaloid compounds are what causes the fescue toxicosis symptoms in our cattle. And so a lot of work was done to try to figure out, could, they, could we remove that endophyte? And what we found was that that endophyte had a lot of positive attributes for the plant. And so we could, removing the endophyte uh, resulted in, in poor stand uh, quality for the plant. And so while that endophyte causes negative issues in our livestock, it, causes, it has positive impacts for the plant. And so uh, work was done to develop what we call novel endophyte varieties of fescue. And these uh, varieties of fescue contain that plant-friendly uh, endophyte, but that endophyte does not produce the ergoalkaloids that negatively impact our cattle. So here at the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center, uh, we have 16 two-acre paddocks uh, that we have established uh, half of those with a novel endophyte variety of fescue and half of those uh, with a traditional endophyte infected variety of fescue that produces the ergoalkaloids. And so that, what that allows us to do is replicated uh, grazing trials, looking at, at strategies to mitigate uh, the effects of fescue toxicosis in cattle. Uh, so out here this summer, we've actually got uh, a group of developing heifers and all of those heifers have cow manager tags in their ears. Uh, and you've probably heard us talk about our cow manager tag system uh, in the past, but if you're not familiar with it, those are smart ear tags that the cattle wear that can record animal behaviors such as time spent eating, time spent ruminating, and time spent being active or non-active. It also can detect ear surface temperature. Uh, and so we've got these heifers, half of those are gonna be on our endophyte infected fescue and half of those are on our novel endophyte fescue this summer. Uh, and we are, while they're out here grazing, uh, we are collecting all of that data on them every single day. Uh, so we're gonna be able to actually go back and look at uh, how these cattle spend their day and how that's affected um, by the type of fescue that they are grazing. So that's been this week's episode of Beef Minutes. We'll catch you again next week.